Hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. We are well into the fall now and it is time to try to get these sweet potatoes out of the ground before the temperatures get super cold at night. Full disclosure, I have no idea what we're gonna find. So early in the spring, I started some sweet potato slips. And you can watch this video to see that process. Then we got everything planted once everything was growing. You can see, watch this video for that process. This is only the second year that we have tried to grow sweet potatoes and I still didn't put very much effort into it. I really planned to be a lot more intentional about growing them this year, but I just didn't. I just didn't do it. So we're gonna see what we've got last year i actually had a pretty decent harvest for not putting any effort into it they were really kind of an experiment that i stuck in the corner of my green bean bed so let's see what happens this year when i plant after i planted them in their own bed i have not watered these things in probably a month and it's been very dry so i don't know if they're going to have done anything or if they're even ready to harvest so let's see what we find Well, they're doing something under there. They're really small, but let's see what else we got. This is another one of our new beds, and we didn't really do a good job of getting the rocks and roots out of it, so I'm sure that that has probably impacted what we're gonna be able to get out of this bed. things also got planted late so that may be why they're so small So I've given myself quite the challenge here, not taking care of the vines. I can't tell where they're growing and I keep cutting them in half. These both would have been really nice sweet potatoes if I hadn't chopped them in half, but I think they'll still be okay. It's almost Thanksgiving, we'll just use them for that. So this is not an altogether unexpected result. The ones growing right next to the fence are a lot bigger. And I think that's because we took a lot more care to get the rocks and sticks out of the way so that we could sink the T-posts. This is a nice size sweet potato. The area right next to the arch is also downhill. So it's the area that would have gotten a lot more water because as it rained, it would have rolled downhill. So this is not altogether unsurprising either. I'm finding that the ones next to the arch are, they have a lot more sweet potatoes connected to the plant. Well, here's what we got. I'm out of time. I have to go get my big kid from school. So I'll have Jake come back through here with the pickaxe this weekend since he's a lot stronger than I am and can get through this concrete hard dirt and it's gonna rain in the next couple of days so maybe that'll soften it up as well I think that's not too bad though half a bucket is definitely enough for Thanksgiving as always hit the thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything thanks for watching